Good morning vlogmas, it is Friday the 23rd of December, happy Christmas Eve Eve for those that celebrate. Um, today will mainly be a finishing day, I did not finish my sweater yesterday, it's getting very close. <laughs> um, I may be wearing a damp sweater on Christmas day. Um, I have the colour work on one sleeve to finish and then the body. I have decided to not do the colour work on the hem of the body. I'll put the picture in. Um, this is mainly because I'm not 100% sure I've got enough of the dark charcoal. I think there's another ball somewhere, but I think if I go down the rabbit hole of trying to find the other ball of yarn, I could well have just finished off the sweater in the time it takes me to find it. Um, yeah, procrastination and rabbit holes cannot happen today. There is too much to do. That said, I still want it to be a pretty chilled out day. We've got a cow. Hi, cow. I'm expecting some parcels to arrive from Amazon and BPD. One of which I'll talk to you about later because it's quite a shock. I ordered. No, I'll talk to you about it later. Um, there is also an exciting update on um, this this sweater, this stitch pattern that I've been trying to sort the stitch pattern for. I have found it in a stitch directory. However, it does, it may create more problems than it's solved, but I'll show you that later. Um, the parcel that's coming is also related to this sweater. It's become a mild obsession. Uh, yeah, spinning the, so spinning, I finished off this bobbin yesterday. This is what took most of my time yesterday and why I didn't finish my sweater. There was a lot more to spin on this to finish this spin and let it rest overnight than I anticipated. And plus I was doing all the baking. The baking took time. Um, but yeah, this is all three bobbins are done and full and ready to ply. So I'm going to be plying these over the next two days. Um, so you'll get to see the results. Advent socks today. I've actually remembered. These are the year before last 24 stripe Advent socks from Liz the Yarn Badger. And I absolutely love these. So these alternate. So these are not dissimilar to this year's where it's alternating red and a sort of rainbow. These aren't as bright as this year's. Um, and they alternate the rainbow colours and a gradient of green, which is really nice. It's probably better seen from there down. Is that why I, I got back into the repeat on that bit there? They were knit toe up two at a time as I'm doing this year's socks. And the red was the contrast mini that came with them, which I managed to get toes, heels and cuffs out of. Hello, Cal. Um... The heel will again be the heel that I do from my Dimension Socks patterns. I love that heel. And I am doing did a similar thing with these ones that I'm doing this year. But instead of slipping every other stitch at the colour change, I did one by one rib at the colour change on these socks. So it's a slightly different texture, but equally as fun. Yeah. These are fab. So update on the stitch pattern from my lovely sweaters. This is uh, my other one. I'm actually wearing, so I'm wearing one today, but this is my other one just so I can show you without keeping having twisting the um, camera around. We've got a very fussy cowl this morning. Yes. They've got their Christmas collars on. Hang on. They've got little bows, little tartan bows. Unfortunately, Puka has rejected her bow, so that had to come off. She wasn't happy with it. But both Jax and Cal are quite happily wearing theirs. Okay, no, we don't want bottom sniffing on camera, thank you very much. Okay, so anyway, update on this stitch pattern. Thank you all so much for your comments and suggestions about it. We have narrowed it down. Um... Uh, I think one of the first comments that became quite a popular is the fact that it was a machine knit tuck stitch. Which 
is very plausible. And actually before that, I had already ordered this book about machine knitting from eBay. This was very cheap. I think it was about three pounds um, and it came fairly quickly. It was um, from the UK, just came with the Royal Mail. Um, and I didn't have any expectations for this book. I don't have a knitting machine. I have no objection to having a knitting machine. In fact, it may be something I consider next year. I used to have one absolutely years ago. Hang on, let me... Yeah, so, sorry. I'm just... It, it feels rude to not look at you when I'm talking to you. Um... So this is the book I got. I got it from eBay. It um yeah, it was about three pounds and it came in less than a week. Um and during all this drama with the Royal Mail and stuff, it, it, it came no problem. Um and yeah, I don't have a knitting machine. I used to a long time ago. Um it is something I am considering getting. Um but I don't know enough about them to know if I'm buying a good second-hand one. So I would need to get one from somebody who is actually using it. There's a lot of research and it's a rabbit hole I'm not getting into. Especially not today. No rabbit holes today. So yeah, I got this book. And um, I'm going to show you. So I just had a quick flick through when this arrived. And there is like a lot of like punch card, lace designs and things like that. It's a really interesting book. There's also quite a lot of like cables and things. But I'm fairly sure there was a section on tuck stitches. Yeah. Um, and I saw this one and I was like, ooh, that's very close. That's very close. And then I turned the page and I got super excited because there it is. That's it. That is the stitch pattern. And I got incredibly excited until I realised that the only thing I then have is this. Which is a punch card to make that pattern on a knitting machine. And it's also a punch card that looks remarkably similar to other punch cards. So I can't decipher much information from the punch card. I am getting a book on tuck stitches, which is arriving today. I'll talk about that when it arrives. But yeah, that is the pattern. Fairly, fairly sure that is it. So we're getting closer. I have a pattern. I have a machine pattern. So now I need one knitting machine, two, learn to use knitting machine, three, learn to be able to make punch cards for a knitting machine, for make sweater. Simple enough steps that may take a very long time. But yeah, it's um it could be a long term plan. I'm just pleased that I have some representation of this stitch pattern in an actual book. I have some physical form of it. And it may be that I can represent it, I can it maybe that I can reproduce it with Normal knitting? I'm sure I can. If you can knit it on a knitting machine, surely you can knit it by hand. We will figure this out, but it's a, yeah, it's a thing for the new year. It's, it's going to be good going on the list for the new year.
and it is from, can you guess, Stephen and Penelope. And Stephen and Penelope are in Amsterdam, I am in the UK. I ordered this about 10 o'clock yesterday morning and it is here, which is a bit nuts. Now, before you get excited, it's not yarn. I'll open it and show you. So we're continuing the quest for my sweater. This is a book on tuck stitches by Nancy Marchant. Um, have a quick flick through. So I thought this would be a good book. So I remembered seeing this book on, um, they talked about it on Fruity Knitting. So I thought it'd be a good book to get to learn a bit more about tuck stitches because I don't know much about them. Um, this isn't quite the stitch, but it's beautiful. And I think this needs to go on the to knit list for next year. Look at that. It's so pretty. A bit of, I fear next year is going to have a very big to knit list. together 